Corrupt FM. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another film review. Tonight we're looking at um, people just do nothing big in Japan. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's a it, it, was, it was a mockumentary uh, TV show on the BBC. Uh, they made five series uh, following the adventures of MC Grinder and Beats. Okay. Now, this is a group of uh, teens lads um, in Brentford, London, running a pirate um, sort of radio station called Corrupt FM, doing all sort of gar garage sort of songs and stuff like that. And there's a group of them. Uh, <laughs> and there's you've got MC Grinder, you've got Beats, you've got Steve's, and, and, and you've got a Punjabi G, and you've got a... Um, couple of the other um d uh, what's it, decoy uh, a couple of other lads there and they, they make this sort of like they've only done about three songs but they repeat it over and over and over and they do this sort of like um modern day sort of garage music and they're trying to be the right sort of lads and stuff like this that's their symbol all the k's corrupt <laughs> right and um and uh <clears throat> Grinder goes to marry Mish. Mish is, is like his girlfriend. And they've got a daughter called Angel who looks suspiciously like Decoy more than um Grinder. You got Beats who's married to Roshi and they got he's got an adopted son. <laughs> oh dear called Craig. And they have a little kid later in the series as well. And and it's a it's a great story because the TV show is all based around them and their sort of relationships and it's so so fucking funny. It, it's very similar to like The Office. It's it's filmed that sort of way, like a mockumentary. But this time you're following a group of sort of like you know uh, <laughs> lads are around Brentford thinking that they're they're the everything and. Um, this is sort of based like it's supposed to be like ten, fifteen years later when they've gone their separate ways and MC Grinder now lives in Pitsy in Essex and all this sort of stuff. And um Punjabi B G, their manager, um he he he's got them um this record contract in Japan. Uh and they set off to Japan. <clears throat> Because in Japan, there's a game show called Bang, and they use their song. There's a song that they did in the series, um, and um, it's, it's become really popular and huge in Japan, and everybody sort of loves it, and it's part of this game show. So they're all flying out there to sort of, like, become famous and get a record contract. But being the way that the lads go, Corrupt FM, it all goes pear-shaped throughout the whole time. Um... They didn't even know that Punjabi G was going. They go to the airport. Mish goes with them with Angel. And um, they've not even got tickets. So they've got to go back home, those two. Um, and the rest of the lads, they head off to Japan. And it's so bizarre. They, they, get, they get mixed up with all these sort of weird, bizarre sort of adventures. And um, the, there's a young sort of girl that's like their sort of... Um, PA that helps them out and she falls for Steve's and Steve's falls for her so a little relationship sort of bonds there which is really quite nice to see Steve get a bit of luck oh there's one extremely funny scene when they're flying out there on the airplane and Steve's taking too much drugs Steve's is the druggie of the group he just nothing but drugs and he's taken too many and he's <laughs> And he's just like all over the place on the airplane. Like, I want to get off. I want to get off now, you know, and all this sort of thing. And he lets up. He's sort of like his his inflated bag around his neck, and it's hilarious. And they get up to so many <laughs> adventures. Oh, it's just so funny. And then Punjabi G finds out he's not really needed, and he he gets a little bit heartbroken, and he does his normal sort of things that all fall apart, and. The guys have a have a sort of a break up in the uh, film um, MC Grinder and Beats. They sort of break up because there's there's this Japanese sort of a businessman from the company who's trying to turn them into a boys band called the Bang Boys. 
So he's trying to turn him into this boy band, and he's already managed to convince Grinder to go along with it, with all this fame and stuff like this. But all the other three don't want nothing to do with it. So they sort of split their ways for part of the film. And Grinder goes on down that route of like, um, sort of like becoming sort of famous and having to do ridiculous things on the TV show and things like that. And the other three don't nothing to do with it. And it, and it sort of, uh, Mish turns up in Japan. Roche buys her a ticket because she just got fed up with her and buys her a ticket to go out there. Anyway, she's loving it. She's loving all the glam because, you know, Mish is like, it's all about her. You know, she she's the centre of the attention. Um, and she's loving it. And Grinder's starting to come to his senses and sort of thinks, no, no, this is not what I've come out here for. You know, this this fame thing is not what he expected it to be because he's been turned into this sort of almost clown thing like he doesn't want to be. It's not real anymore what he was actually doing. And then he's sort of like, near the end of the film, there's like a get-together and they all get back together. But do they make it big in Japan? You need to watch it and find out. What did I think of uh, um, big in Japan? People just do nothing. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's hilarious. Guys, if you've never seen the show, check it out. It's uh, You've got seasons one to four on Netflix. On the BBC iPlayer, you've got seasons one to five. Um, so there's five series, and then there's um, the movie. Um, and also on the BBC iPlayer, there's, there's a 45-minute documentary about the show, which is really cool. And it's interviews with some of the fans of the show, like Martin Freeman and people like that, people that love the show, and, and, and stuff like that. So it's really, really cool. It's such a good watch. But this film is hilarious. And do you know what? It fits in really well with... Um, the series, because a lot of films, when they have a good series and they decide to make a feature film, it doesn't work, you know. But this does, because the characters are the same. They haven't changed their ways, and it's just really, really cool. Absolutely loved it. You, you, it's such a cool film. I had such a laugh. I don't want to say too much, because there's so many sort of like laugh-out-loud moments. But if you are going to watch it and get this, I recommend you um, watching the series first, Okay. Um, because it wouldn't really work if you watched it as a film on its own without actually watching the TV series. Because in the series you get to know the guys and you get to know their lifestyle and the way they are with each other and how clumsy and stupid they are. And it's brilliant. It is just like watching David Brent and that and everyone on. It's just hilarious. It's fantastic. Really, really cool. I wonder if Ricky Gervais likes this show. Um, because it is it's quite similar in the way it's sort of made. But it is fantastic. It's wonderful. I'm going to score this film an amazing watch. to give it a 9 out of 10. Absolutely loved it. Really, really cool. Um, if you've got the TV series, I highly recommend you pick the movie up. But watch them all first. And then watch the movie. Absolutely brilliant. Guys, thank you for much for tuning in. That's only a short review because it's not really a genre I tend to cover, like the comedy films. And this is like a, a mockumentary comedy, uh, like I said, about this, this pirate radio called Corrupt FM. So anyway, till next time, look after yourselves. Look after, uh, after each other, brother. And uh, listen to Corrupt FM. Cheers, guys. <laughs>